Semadon TV Semadon TV Semadon TV
Praise him now. Open your mouth and give him praise. Open your mouth and give him praise. He's worthy to receive all praise. He's worthy to receive honor and adoration. There is none like unto him. There is none beside him. There is none beside him. We give him praise. We worship you, Jesus. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified above every other. Who is like unto you? Who can compare with you? From everlasting to everlasting, you are king. You are king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are Igwe. Ogene Ogene. Obero Takoruru. O Meme Yo Meme. The Yorubas call him Olorun. Olorun Wa. Give him praise. He's worthy to receive all our praise. He's worthy to receive all honor. He's worthy to receive adoration. There is none like unto him. Glory and honor be to his name. We worship him. Diwa Yinsikwe. Dike Naga. Give him praise. Lift up your voice and give him praise. Ekuweme is his name. Omokache Okemo. The great spirit. We give him praise. Chine Cherem. We give him praise. Okunerere. He is a consuming fire. We give him praise. We give him praise. O Jenamo. Ah. The God who walks in the realm of the spirits. We worship him. O Kimiri. Oh, we worship him. We worship him. We worship him. Who is like unto you, O God? Yes, you is your are name. the Lord. Oh, Lubuku is your name. Oh, Nisha Yonu. Oh, Yes, you are Onishara. the Lord. We give you praise. Lord. We worship you. Oh, our maker and our God. Yes, you are the Lord. Your name is a miracle. Your name is mighty God. From everlasting to everlasting, you are king of kings. Yes, you the are. The ancient of days. The I am who am. Blessed be your name. Grandfather. 
grandfather. Your grandfather is here. Somebody shout here. Yeah. Yao Fada Ungi Honey Fada and Wotan. I said, God, I must introduce him. He said, No, don't worry. I said, Holy Ghost, take over. I know he's a very humble man. And this is the first time I have invited him. Far back 1998, I saw this man, picked the microphone, scattered body jar during our crusade. Hey! I said, Lord, I want to be like him. In short, I want to let you know that in the year 1995, 94, 95, when I encountered our mother Mary at Aokbe and I said I will give my life to mother Mary the person that I stole that name from Mario is the person standing here I have never known what Mario meant until somebody answered that name and then when I wanted to follow Mother Mary, I said, Mario, I will take because I want to be like him. All the arrows that followed revival in the Catholic Church in this side, he carried all the arrows. <laughs> Egbele, Egbele, from the pit of hell. Yeah, but he is the one that carried it before we now we are able to come out and start saying, eh, is it possible? He's the one. Very, very humble. His name is all over the world. He sees the messages all over the world. But still humble. In short, I am happy that I am standing here to introduce him. This is just the beginning. I said before I go invite you. Even in Israel, I said, let me, let me, let me. I don't know how. I was, I felt so unworthy to invite him. I said, what kind of congregation? Will I put before this great man? This our area get a CB. How can I invite him if we not meet my little congregation at this local? See no. This time around, maybe God wants him to come and help us. And he has come. And somebody here, you have come. And every word. Let me tell you. I, let me tell you the truth. There are many men of God, but there is a gift that God gives to people. His gift is in the world. He doesn't do magic. He doesn't do magic. Unfortunately, people, men of God, not like magic. If you listen to him, if you listen to him, whether in English, in Pidgin, in anyone, if you listen if you can listen. Because don't expect him now to come here and then you say, if you listen to his word, Mama, only say the word, there shall be miracles in your family. So I am very happy to welcome our grandfather in faith. Very reverend doctor, professor, Evangelizer Mario Tony Ozele.
right hand and pray with me. Say, O oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I open the door of my heart to you. Come in and dwell in me. Your word says, I will give you a new heart. I will put a new spirit within you. My Father, enter into my heart. Fill me with your presence and your power. As your word goes forth now, may it make a home in my heart. To the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and the church says please be seated Isaiah 66 from verse 7 to verse 9. Isaiah 66, from verse 7 to verse 9. The word of God says, Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard of such a thing? Who has ever seen such things? Can a country be born in a day? Or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord? Do I close up the womb when I, give, when I bring to delivery, says the Lord? Verse 10 says, Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all, all you who love her. Rejoice greatly within her, all you who mourn over her. May the Lord bless the reading of his word through Christ our Lord. I want to share with you quickly this afternoon on what I call the labor room language. Labor room language. Amen. When women don't carry belly for nine months, what will be the next thing when go happen? Eh? She go enter labor room. Not be so. She enters into the labor room. The number nine is very significant. There are some very significant numbers like number three, number seven, the number nine, and twelve. The ninth month is a turnaround month if you handle it properly and spiritually. The ninth month is a month of gestation. Human pregnancy from conception to full birth is nine months. But the forces of wickedness also tap into this ninth month to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So my brothers and sisters, it is very important when you have a program like this in the ninth month of the year that you understand the significance of the ninth month. And you possess your ninth month spiritually. So that your ninth month can bring to birth all the good things that God has ordained for you. So the ninth month is a labor room month. It's a labor room month. And in the labor room, because months, months have, in, in, the, in, the, in the Greek calendar... Each month was dedicated to one God or another. So the month January, for instance, is dedicated to the sun goddess called Janus. 
So when you are beginning the year in January, for instance, you must take possession of the month of January and commit it to the true light of the world, Jesus Christ himself. So that the forces of evil do not tap into the month to control your destiny in January. Because the forces of darkness, they tap into the cosmic powers of the universe. That is why people who are involved in the occult, they, they are very much into astrology and magic. They tap into the, the, the elements of the universe and they try to use them to control the destiny of human beings. So that is why you see all these horoscope. They are always they are always referring to the powers of the universe and they seek to control the destiny of human beings. So you must take control of the month. And I like the fact that every first day of the month you have a program. Every first day of the month because you must take authority over the month. If you not take authority over the month, <laughs> Satan will slap you from back. Fela say, when they want to slap your head, na from back. When they want to knock your head, say na from back. When Satan won't knock you, na from back. So you must learn to take possession of the month. You have to program better and glorious things into the month. So that you can live a fulfilled life. Because the life of a Christian cannot be careless. A lot of believers are very careless. But the life of a Christian is not, is not careless. Because God is a God of order. When God created the universe, God not just talks, say, okay, the whole world, let the world just be. No, it takes time, day after day. He created things in their in their order. So God is a God of order. And a Christian, if you want to be a fruitful Christian, if you want to be a successful believer, you must be orderly in the way that you do things. When the month is beginning, you have to take possession of the month. No longer the way she enter, but she carries something for hand. Either one, or two, or three, or four. And I want to prophesy here right now that by this time of next year there are two people here when you go come give testimony or triplets. I don't know who those people are but the Holy Spirit will touch you wherever you are. The Holy Spirit will locate those people. Two people by this time next year you will come and give testimony in this program that this was the prophetic utterance of God over your life. Triplets that they go get by this time next year in the name of Jesus. So the things when if it happen for the labor room, four things now I talk say if it happen for the labor room, woman go go labor room, it come out, she carry something extra. So the labor room can be a place of multiplication. Amen. Somebody say multiplication. And I pray that in this month of September, God will multiply you. Because when God created the universe, when God created the universe, after I don't create everything, come bless man. He said, be fruitful and what? And multiply. God takes delight in multiplying his people. God wants you to prosper. He not wants you to remain the way when you be, when you enter the world. God wants you to multiply, to increase to multiply financially, to multiply spiritually, to multiply materially, to multiply academically. God wants you to, somebody lift up your hand and say, my father and my God. <laughs> multiply me in the name of Jesus. In this month of September, let my multiplication materialize. Let glory shine upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus. The month of September is a month of, of multiplication. So woman fee enter the labor room, she not go come back the way she enter. She will come back different. That not the first thing when the fee happen. Another thing when the fee happen for the labor room, another thing that can happen in the labor room is that the woman enter 
She entered the labor room and she come out, she not carry anything. So women if you enter the labor room, they come out, they not carry anything. They just come out alone. That is subtraction. And now what the devil won't do be that. What the enemy wants to do is that in the ninth month, he wants to subtract from the children of God. That is why every year, you see that the ember months, the ember months begin with which month? September. And once you enter ember months, not be only Nigeria, now everywhere around the world, the ember months always come with danger. Now that the accident, they increase. Now that the people, they die suddenly. Because the devil wants to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So the devil wants to subtract from the children of God. Somebody prayed with me, say, Oh God, my Father, this month of September, I pray by faith, there shall be none missing from our midst. There shall be none missing from my family. Any power rising from the ground, from the sea, from the air, from demonic altars, satanic high places, wanting to subtract from my life, from my family, be swallowed by fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer now. Pray that prayer. Say any power that wants to subtract from my family, from my life, be swallowed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be swallowed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Then at the second thing when if it happen for the labor room. The third thing that can happen in the labor room is that the woman enter the labor room. She entered the labor room but when she come out when she, when, when she entered the labor room, she not come out. But something else come out. Peking come out, but she not come out. Error. Somebody say error. That is the third thing that can happen in the labor room. Woman can enter to the labor room, she not come out. But something has come out. That not be the perfect will of God. The fourth thing that can happen in the labor room is that the woman enter, she not come out, anything not come out. That one is tragedy. She not come out, nothing come out, nobody come out. Four things that can happen in the labor room. Out of these four, only one not good, not perfect. The others not be waiting somebody they pray for. They are not things you wish for, but those are the exact things that the enemy wants to wants to enforce on the life of the children of God. That is why my brothers and my sisters, the labor room month is a very delicate month. Because the enemy is out. Is out in the ninth month. The enemy knows that the labor room is a place of expectation. The enemy knows that the labor room is a place of multiplication. The enemy knows that the labor room is a place of rejoicing. It's a place of laughter. Because when women enter the labor room, 
no matter the pain when she go through, the moment she hears the sound of the baby's cry, all her tears are forgotten. All her pains are forgotten. As she they cry, she's still there in pain. No, nobody said the pain does cease. She's still there in pain. Once they carry the Pekin, say, see your Pekin. You have a bouncing baby boy. You have a bouncing baby girl. She they cry, yo, but she they smile. And she they cry, but she they smile. The labor room is a place of testimony. The labor room is a place of transformation. Because when women enter the labor room, before she enter the labor room, they go to call them. Hey, this woman, that woman, if they want to describe them, they will say, don't you know that woman when they said bullet for junction there? Don't you know that woman when they roast corn? You don't know that woman when they said granite? That is the way they describe the woman before she goes into the labor room. But the moment the woman enters into the labor room and they hear the sound of a baby's cry, her name don't change with that. Nobody they call on this woman again. They start calling her Mama Ufoma, Mama Nkechi, Mama Elizabeth, Mama Lawrence. Her name don't change with that. Her position don't change. Her death transformation. The labor room is a place of transformation. The labor room is a place of breakthrough. It's a place of breakthrough. Breakthrough is not a destination. Breakthrough is an open door that leads to other things. When a woman goes into the labor room and she delivers successfully, she has opened the door to possibilities in her life. That child can become a governor tomorrow. That child can become the wife of a president tomorrow. That child can become a bishop tomorrow. Can become a reverend sister. That child can become a doctor. She has opened the door of possibility. And that door, when the woman opens, so that door can change the whole world. Because that child, that child will be, can be a gift to humanity. That child can be the one that God wants to use to bring liberation to a whole people. So the labor room is a place of divine breakthrough. All of these things the enemy knows. The devil knows that the labor room is a place of harvest. It's a place of harvest. Because when the man and the woman met, the man sowed the seed in the good ground of the woman's womb. And now is the time for harvest. So the labor room is a place of spiritual and physical harvest. The devil knows. He knows that the labor room can change the destiny of a family. A family that has been going through pains, going through oppression. A family where there has been turbulence, fighting, disaster here and there. The moment the woman enter labor room, born, come aside. Even the mother-in-law, when they verse with the girl before, she go begin happy. Some years ago, there was a, a couple in Wari who were recommended to me for prayers because they don't marry for many years. No picking. So when they send them, one of our brothers, the renewer, sent them to me. I come ask the weather. Now don't do tests before. They say, Father, we don't do tests. Too. No problem. I say, okay. When we start the prayer, you go and do another test. So we started the prayers. They went and did another test. They said, me they go collect the results. So, so they. The wife go ask the husband, you don't go collect the result? The man said, no, I never go. You don't go collect the result? I never go. When you go go collect it, I go go now. Don't worry, I will go and collect it. Ah, not be test one we don't do before. Meanwhile, the man went to the, their sponsor who recommended them to me. Tell and say, Daddy, problem deal. I don't collect the result, but I never fit tell my wife. What is the problem? He has low sperm count. So the man told him, said, no, you have to go and tell father. Take the result to father. So he brought the result to me, and he was crying. He said, father, my own don't finish. My marriage don't, my marriage don't scatter be that. My family don't scatter. I said, why are you saying that? He said, because 
what my wife has suffered from my family. Ah. He said, once this woman find out, say, me get problem, now it's over. Because on several occasions, the man was working in the oil, in the oil field. Anytime the man go, go field, not be now when cell phone don't fall everywhere. When the man go field, the, the family go come. They will beat the woman. Say, yellow papa, uh, uh, male papa, you know, if you, you, they marry you, you know, if you born. They will beat her, humiliate her, So when the man told me, I told him, I said, listen, do you, God that made this revelation now, don't you think he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ever ask for or imagine? I said, God has a reason for revealing this now. So go and call your wife. So he called the wife. And I said, okay, tell your wife what didn't happen. He now told the wife, said, see the result. Oh, all those times you were asking me, I have collected it, but I didn't know how to tell you. This is the problem. When he talk him, the wife keep quiet, they look him. The man said, Father, tell her to say something now. Tell her to say something. She's not saying anything. Hey, Father, I told you. You don't finish. My marriage just scattered be that. The man started crying. The woman was just looking at him. He kept shouting, hey, hey, he said something, my, my wife, what, what are, why are you quiet now? Say something now. I told him, I said, give her time now. Let, she will say something. So the wife now stood up. Hey, the man had I said, I go, she did so. The wife stood up and the wife said, can I ask you a question? The husband said, yes. He said, we are before the man of God. Tell me the truth. If Nami get problem, will you stay with me or will you leave me? And the man said, before God and man, for the love I have for you, if you were the one that have a problem, I will never leave you. The wife said to the man, So why do you think I will leave you? She said to me, Father, pray for us. If you pray for us, I believe everything will be okay. So we kept praying. The man went back to work. Before the man come back, the family of the man don't come again. This time, they not only humiliated the woman, they packed the woman back to her village. May you see a devil they walk home. Now that God was beginning to do something, they packed the woman back to her village, to her people. This time, the people say, if they, if they ever use eye to see the man for their company, they will kill him. Read trouble. When the man came back, the man came to see me and said, Father, see what my family has done and my wife's family, they will just kill me now. So I gave him a letter to send to the wife through somebody from their place. I invited the wife to come. I sent a letter to his own family, sent a letter to the wife's family, invited all of them to come. The day they came, ha, it was like Second World War. The man's family, the wife's family, they were hitting each other with walking stick, pouring sand on each other, spitting at each other, screaming, cursing each other. I was watching them. Then I now shouted at them. I said, stop now, stop. They managed to stop. So I asked them, I said, the people want to know they fight for now. Where are they? I said to them, look at them standing under the palm tree there, praying their rosary. The two of them were standing under the palm tree, they were praying their rosary. As I said, see people, when are they fight for? That they pray, when are they fight? So they come down, 
And then we went into the, the living room. We discussed. I asked them, I said, have you people asked your children what they want? Ask them, what do they want? So the family of the girl asked the girl, say, what, what do you want? She said, you people should leave me to go back to my husband. They asked the man, the family asked her, what do you want? The man said, make her leave me, make her marry my wife. So the, the two families now said, if not so, our hand not do no matter again, no. So I told them, I said, that, that should not be the case. Just allow them to live their lives together. Stop intruding. Pray for them. So that day, we brought drinks. They prayed for two of them. After they prayed for them, all of us drank together. I now prayed for them. And told them, I said, now, see what God would do in the life of these two people. Before long, the woman got pregnant after about three or four months. She went into the labor room. She had twins. Within a year and a half, she got pregnant again. They had one. Before you knew it, she got pregnant again. They had another twins. Now the family called them for family meeting. The family said, hey, we could not take them easy. When I get money, I go to train all these plenty children. Hallelujah. The arrival of those children brought the two families together. The labor room is a place of destiny. And that is what the enemy does not want. You know how the Bible tells us, Jesus said, a man went to sow good seed in his land. While he was sleeping, an enemy did what? went and sowed evil seed. So that when the good seed are growing, the evil one will choke them and kill them so that they will not bear fruit. What the devil does not want is for believers to bear fruit. He does not want you to bear spiritual fruit. He does not want you to bear material fruit, physical fruit, financial fruit. That is why the enemy is always positioning itself at the entrance of the labor room to cause disaster. To cause disaster. That is why the labor room is also a place of spiritual warfare. Because anything can happen in the labor room. The woman, if you don't go for test. They check everything. They say, the baby is well positioned. Your blood pressure is okay. Your sugar level is okay. Everything is okay. Woman enter the labor room. Story change. Story change. But in the same way, woman go enter the labor room. They go say, at this pregnancy, we don't know whether you go fit deliver them or on your own. Or may they do surgery or because the bikini bridge or because this one do that one or Woman go enter the ballroom. Before you say A, B, cha, Piki don't come out. Because the labor room is a place of spiritual warfare. That is why the month of September is a month of spiritual warfare. Because as God wants to give birth to new things in your life, the enemy is positioning himself at the entrance of the labor room to make sure you don't come out. The enemy is positioning himself to make sure that you don't come out the way you went in or you don't come out at all. 
That is why the Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 12, when you read from verse 1, it says, a, 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 a sign appeared in the, in the skies. A woman clothed with the sun. And this woman was pregnant. About to give birth. And as she was about to give birth, the Bible says, immediately, another sign appeared. The dragon with seven heads is still dragging things down, positioning itself so that immediately the woman give birth, the dragon will do what? We kill the child. That is the same thing the devil is still doing till today. When God wants to bring new things into your life, the devil will be positioning himself because he wants to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But immediately the woman gave birth, the Spirit of God took the woman away, snatched the woman and the child, took them into hiding. Don't let this month of September pass you by. Because a lot of believers, they don't know how to do spiritual warfare. They don't know how to do spiritual warfare. A lot of believers just go through every month, say, ah, everything will be okay, everything will be well. And that's why some of the messages, when they send through phone these days, at the beginning of every month, God will do this all for you. God will do that for you. That was say, you know me say, you'll just sit down and put your hand for granted. You must learn how to fight too. Because if you, don't, if you don't fight, the enemy can suddenly take you unawares. The ninth month is a very delicate month. That is why when women enter the labor room, only one language, not the woman they hear. Only one language. If the woman enter the labor room, say, eh, my wife, don't worry, everything will be okay. I'm here beside you. See me now. I hold your hand. That hand when you take hold your wife, so if he bite her, if he bite the hand, once the pain comes, she can bite that hand. My wife, you know I love you so much. I will do everything for you. She will spit for your face, self. In the labor room, she can spit in your face. Only one word, one word, right? the woman they hear for labor room. You know what it be that word? Push. Somebody say push. That is the only language that the woman hears in the labor room. Do it in. Somebody say push. No other thing when she they hear. If you like, make you they sing for them. Now you Sabio, you are singing for yourself. The only thing the woman hears is push. Push, don't give up, push, come on, come on, push. That's so <laughs> somebody say push. push. And the word push is an acronym for pray until something happens. So in the month of September, the only language when believers are supposed to be here, now pray until something happens. Pray. Keep praying. Because the labor room is a place of blood. Though. It's a bloody place. The labor room. The labor room, some, in some cases, the feet begin to transfuse blood. Now they transfuse blood. So women feel begin bleed now, bleed everywhere, blood. When the child comes out, the child is covered in blood. The labor room is a place of blood. The devil wants to make it a bloody month. But thanks be to God who has given us victory in Christ Jesus. Because the only blood that is necessary for the believer is the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus in this month of September, the blood will speak for you. Yeah. I said the blood of Jesus will speak for you. Yeah. The blood of Jesus will fight for you. Yeah. The Bible says, and we have defeated the enemy. By what? 
the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. His word says, I will see the blood and I will pass over you. I pray for you in this month of September. Let the blood of Jesus speak for you. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your family. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your finances. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your children. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your academics. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your business. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your job. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your husband. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your wife. Let the blood of Jesus speak by day and speak by night over your marriage, over the fruit of the womb, your heart desires, your prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, shout seven loud, amen. 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 The blood of Jesus. That is the insurance policy that we need in this month of September. Because the plan of the enemy is to make sure that, oh, since he cannot, he could he not stop you from entering into the year, just like he cannot stop the woman from getting pregnant, he wants to abort the pregnancy at the last minute. Do you know that was what the devil was trying to do to the Blessed Mother? The devil could not stop the Holy Spirit from conceiving Jesus in the womb of the mother. He don't try, try, try. Enough he do anything about this child when they conceive so. Aha. He now went high. Went to Caesar Augustus. That Caesar should pass a decree. So that everybody will return to their home place to register for the census. And Joseph was from where? Bethlehem. Not be so. Where Joseph was staying to where to Bethlehem from Nazareth to Bethlehem was about 300 to 400 miles. That is about 600 kilometers. It be like a person when they travel from here they go Lagos. And that time, Moto Nodeo, they have to travel by what? By donkey. Pregnant woman. How many months they want to travel that journey? How many weeks? And the roads that time were very rocky. They have to climb hills, valley, and everything. What was the devil trying to do? To cause stillbirth. To abort that pregnancy on the way. So that either the Peking is born stillbirth or the mama and the Peking, they don't make them. They die. That was what the devil was planning. That is what he's still planning for believers till tomorrow. The devil does not want you to make it out of 2018 alive. But the word of God says in John chapter 10 verse 10, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus said, because I live, you too shall live. You shall not die in 2018. The God who brought you into 2018 will bring you into 2019. Because you serve a living God. You do not serve a dead God. Your God is alive. No wonder in Psalm 23, David said, in verse number 4, David said, Even though I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. David did not say, even though I sit in the valley. He did not say, even though I rest in the valley. He said, even though I pass through the valley. 
Why is he passing through the valley? Because the valley is not his destination. The valley you are passing through today, that is not your destination. Don't get used to that valley. Don't get used to that situation. Don't get used to that problem. Because that is not your final bus stop. God is taking you somewhere. God was taking David somewhere. David said, even though I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. He said, because you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And he said, you have prepared a table for me in the sight of of my enemies listen to me church your enemy will be watching you while god is promoting you those who are laughing at you now they will see you promoted they will see you lifted up they will see god exalted in your life i don't know what they are saying about you now i don't know what what stories they are telling about you but god will turn your story to glory i say god will turn your story to glory he will change your situation because he is with you. Matthew 28 verse 20 says, Behold, I am with you always, even unto the end of time. My God is with you. Jesus is with you. The Holy Spirit is with you. On Monday, he will be with you. On Tuesday, he will be with you. On Wednesday, he will be with you. On Thursday, he will be with you. On Friday, he will be with you. On Saturday, he will be with you. On Sunday, God will be with you. I say he will be with you. I say he will be with you. Lift up your hand and shout yeah. Lift up your hand and shout yeah. Somebody shout yeah. He will be with you. No matter what you are passing through now, God has prepared a table for you. God will take you to your table. The Bible says, my head you have anointed with oil. My cup runs over. In September 2018, your blessings will multiply. Your favors will multiply. God will multiply you. He will favor you. Your favors will multiply. Your joy will multiply. Your glory will multiply. He will multiply you materially. He will multiply you spiritually. He will multiply you physically. He will multiply you financially. He will multiply you in glory. Somebody shout, I receive it. My head you've anointed with oil. My cup runs over. And David said, surely. Somebody say, surely. Say surely. The word surely means certainly. The word surely means without any doubt. The word surely means nothing can stop it. And in this month of September, the Lord is saying to you, surely. Somebody say surely. Somebody shout surely. Surely God will favor you in September. Surely God will raise you up in September. Surely God will dry your tears in September. Surely you will have, the, you will have a testimony of joy in September. Somebody shall surely. The Bible says weeping may last through the night. But joy comes in the morning. In September, God will turn your story to glory. He will turn your negative into positive. He will turn your failure into success. He will turn your fears into courage. He will dry your tears. He will give you reason to rejoice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, surely. The month of September is a labor room month. And in this month of September, I am believing God. 
and believing God that the womb of September will give birth to testimonies in your life. We give birth to testimonies in your family. We give birth to testimonies in your children's lives. Listen to me. You that have been crying over your children since the beginning of the year, God is about to change that story. I say God is about to change that story. In the name of Jesus Christ. September is your expected delivery date. It's your expected delivery month. And nothing will stop it in the name of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus will fight for you. Every power waiting at the door of the labor room month to abort your miracle, to abort your testimony, to abort your glory, any power waiting at the door of September to tamper with your destiny. I say, Holy Ghost! I say, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! I pray. You pregnancy of good news conceived for the sake of God's children in this labor room month you shall not be aborted in the name of Jesus. Good news will not be aborted in your life. Good news will not be aborted in your family. Good news will not be aborted in your job, in your finances, in the life of your children. There shall be no miscarriage. There shall be no stillbirth. God will give birth to testimony of good news in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual pregnancy of wickedness conceived against you, every spiritual pregnancy of wickedness conceived against your children, Conceived against your family in the womb of September. I said, Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every dark expectation, every expectation of evil, every plan of the enemy to rubbish your labor room mount. I say let it be aborted by fire. Let it be aborted by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your right hand and pray with me. Say, you womb of September. Hear the word of God. Bring forth now. My turn around. Bring forth my breakthrough. Bring forth my glory in the name of Jesus. Pray say, O oh God, my Father, every witchcraft power waiting for my loss, waiting for subtraction in the labor room month of September, you are a liar. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Every power of wickedness, witchcraft power, coven power, be destroyed. You are a liar. I will not suffer loss. I will not suffer subtraction. My family will not suffer loss. My business will not suffer loss. My job will not suffer loss. We will not suffer any loss. We will not suffer any loss. In this month of September, we will not suffer any loss. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the oh God, my Father. 
every evil power ancestral powers powers of evil altars marine altars marine powers witchcraft powers occult manipulation waiting for my death waiting for the death of my blessing in the labor room month of September you are a liar I shall not die I shall live but I pray now every evil you have planned for me let it fall on your head several times you owner of evil load I bind your load to you I bind your load to you carry your load now carry your plan of death carry your accident carry your sickness carry your disease pray 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 say carry it now I bind it to you I tie it to you I tie it to I say carry your load carry your load carry your load who will carry your load for you who will carry your load for you ah You owner of evil load, owner of accident, carry your accident, carry your sickness, carry your disease, or your carry your disaster. Every plan you have for me, carry it now. Carry it, carry it, carry it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray say, oh God. Every evil power. Waiting for my failure. In the labor room month of September. You will wait in vain. You will wait in vain. My portion is hidden in Christ Jesus. Oh God, my Father, September is my expected delivery date. So I pray, oh God, arise, arise in your power, manifest glory, manifest glory, manifest power, manifest miracles, testimonies in my life. In my family, manifest them, oh God. Manifest them now. Pray, pray, pray that prayer. Say, arise, oh God, on my behalf. Let testimonies be manifest. Let glory be manifest. Let power be manifest. In this month of September, this is my labor room month. This is my expected delivery month. I claim miracles. I claim power and authority. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the O oh God, my Father. Every door of blessing that the enemy has closed against me every door of blessing that the enemy has padlocked by the authority in the name of Jesus I tear that door open now I break it open and I possess my possession I break it open and I possess my possession break the door now break those gates you evil gate you evil door, I smash you to pieces. I destroy you now. I tear you down. I uproot you. And I enter it to possess my possession. I enter it to possess my possession.
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Our Father and our God, your word says, we shall possess the gates of the enemies and inherit the riches of the Gentiles. Father, every gate that the enemy has erected around your children to lock them in, to stagnate their, their progress and their blessing, every gate the enemy has raised up, ancient doors, ancestral doors of poverty, ancestral doors of lateness in marriage, ancestral doors of delay in childbearing, Father, O oh God, by the authority in the name of Jesus, we uproot them today by fire. We uproot them by fire. Every ancestral door, every ancestral gate, ancestral trees, ancestral shrine, be uprooted by Holy Ghost. Be uprooted by Holy Ghost. Be uprooted by Holy Ghost. Every standard of the enemy rising from the water, every marine standard rising from the water. Ah, I come against you today, you Leviathan spirit, you marine witchcraft spirit. We dominate you with the blood of Jesus Christ. We trample your head underfoot today. We cut you to pieces, and I command you now. To remove your hand from the life of God's children. I say remove your hand from their family. Remove your hand from their marriage. Remove your hand from their reproductive organs. Remove your hand from their finances. Remove your hand from their children's lives. Remove your hand. Remove your hand. Remove your hand. In the name of Jesus. Every evil altar that is speaking against your destiny. Every evil altar that is speaking against your children. Every evil altar speaking against your home. Every evil altar speaking against your finances. Let fire fall. Let it be consumed by fire. Fire on the altar. Fire on the altar. Let the altar be swallowed by fire. Let the altar be swallowed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil priest. Every evil priestess. Every occult priest. Every shaman. Every magician. That is standing against your destiny. Ah, my father and my God. Let fire fall down from heaven. Let the ground here open and swallow them. Let the ground open and swallow them. Let the ground open and swallow them. Let the ground open and swallow them. As in the days of Koram and Abiram. Let the ground open up and swallow them. In the name of Jesus. Every spiritual arrow. Every spiritual bullet. Every spiritual stone aimed in your direction to capture your glory i say go back to your sender go back to your sender go back to your sender go 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 back go back go back go back to your sender 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 in the name of jesus father your word says anyone who digs a pit we fall into his own pit. Anyone who rolls a stone, the stone will roll back on the person. My Father and my God, any, any spiritual agreement, any spiritual covenant, ah, any person who has taken an oath that your children will never hear the cry of a baby, anyone that has taken an oath that your children will never get married, that their children will never graduate. That they will never prosper. They will never build their own house. They will never live in their own house. My Father and my God. Let them fall into their own pit. 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 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, shout seven loud, amen. amen. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. to you we surrender completely to you our hands symbolize our lives and everything your children are carrying in their hands now pictures of loved ones whatever their needs are my father let your hand of blessing come upon them now we bless all these loved ones by the power in the name of Jesus let the labor room month of September be a turnaround month for them in Jesus' name. 
Father, change their designation in the name of Jesus. Change their story in the name of Jesus. Let September be the beginning of their turnaround. Let it be the beginning of the month of months. Let it be the beginning of glory in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that your hand of blessing will touch upon all of these your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in heaven, any evil hand that will want to snatch their children, any evil hand that wants to tamper with the life of their loved ones, let that hand wither by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let your name be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Now hold the hand of somebody beside you. I'm going to address, go back some more. Eh? Hold the hand of somebody. Our Father and our God, on our own we can do nothing. But with you we can do everything. When the angel Gabriel came to the Blessed Mother and she asked, how can this come about? The angel said, the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Father, I pray that this labor room month will be a fruitful month for your children. Let it be a month of spiritual prosperity. A month of academic prosperity. Material prosperity. Physical prosperity. Financial prosperity. In the name of Jesus. And for that to come about, Father, I am calling on your Holy Spirit. As your Spirit came down upon the Blessed Mother and conceived Jesus in her, I pray that your Holy Spirit will come down on these, your children. Let them conceive seeds of greatness. Let them conceive seeds of excellence. Seeds of prosperity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your spirit, O oh God, make contact with these, your children. Now lift up those hands. Spirit of the living God, I call upon you. Touch these children of God now. May they experience your personal touch. Touch of favor. Touch of power. Let anointing flow from the tip of their fingers to the soles of their feet. At the count of three, Holy Spirit, touch somebody. One. Two. The spirit is moving already. It's moving already. The anointing is here already. The anointing is here already. Three. Take now. Take now. Take now. Receive now. Receive now. Receive the anointing now. Receive the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Spirit. Take, 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 take. Take now. Take now. Take now. Let the anointing begin to move you. Let it shake you now. Anointing is shaking you. It's shaking somebody. Anointing is here. Power. Take now, 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 take now. Anointing is on the ground. Anointing is on the ground. The anointing is on the ground. Fire is on the ground. Fire is on the ground. You cannot stand anymore. You cannot stand anymore. You cannot stand anymore. There's fire. There's fire. There's fire on the ground. Fire on the ground. Fire in your hands. Fire in your hands. Fire on your head. Fire on your head. Carry, 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 car
The anointing is on somebody's head now. Your head is on fire. Your head is on fire now. Your head is on fire now. Your head is on fire now. Your head is on fire. 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 Fire on the head. Fire on the head. Fire on your head. Fire on your head. Carry anointing on your head now. 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 On your head. Hey, somebody's hands on fire now. Your hands on fire. Your hands on fire. Your hands on fire. Your hands on fire. Fire in your hands. Fire in your hands. Fire in your hands now. Your hands on fire. Your hands on fire. Carry fire. Carry fire in your hands. In your hands. In your hands. Regadaba vase podobo hi kadaba regabrusa karere regadu sharara le hi kados regadu brada baba masakonde dede every chain that the enemy has used to tie you in one place i command that chain to break in the name of jesus i command that chain to break in the name of jesus Every destiny that has been tied, every cage destiny, every tied destiny, I release you in Jesus' name. I lose you now. I say, loose in the name of Jesus. Loose in the name of Jesus. Loose in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. When I say loose, you turn around once. When I say lose, you turn around again. Are you ready? Lose! 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 Ra da 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 da! Hey, chains are breaking now. Chains are breaking now. Chains are breaking now. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. They 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 are breaking now. 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 La da 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 da. Break. 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 Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. There's anointing in the air. Power from above. Let the anointing from above hit you now. Lift up your two hands. Let the anointing from above hit you now. At the count of three. One. The electric current of the anointing will flow through somebody now. From the tip of your fingers. Two. Three. Receive it from the tip of your fingers. Let the current flow through you now. Let power flow through you. Let power flow through you. Let power flow through you. Hey, somebody's womb is on fire. Somebody's womb is on fire. Somebody's womb is on fire. Somebody's waist is on fire. Fire! Regadaba soko hikabus sadadada. La bruce de de hikadush. Blessed be your name. We worship you, mighty God, a God of power. You desire liberty and freedom for your children. We worship you here today. Father, may we receive total liberty, freedom, and divine empowerment in the name of Jesus. Hear me now and hear me well. There are a 
There are eight people here. They never born before. Eight people here will never get Bele before. They never born before. The Lord says to tell you that by this time of next year, you will have a set of twins. I don't know who you are, but the Spirit of God will confirm it for that person now. Those eight people, let the Holy Spirit confirm it for them now. One, two, three, confirmation now. Confirmation, 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 confirmation. Let the Spirit confirm it now. Let the Holy Ghost confirm it. Confirmation. Where are they? 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 Confirmation. Confirmation. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Confirmation. 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 It's here. It's here. There is confirmation. There is confirmation. Are the anointing of the Holy Ghost? There is confirmation now. There is confirmation. There is confirmation. Receive it. Receive it. Receive your confirmation. Receive your confirmation. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Bagadu sabrundi de hikaya. Regalu sate kibasandaya. There are some persons here. Your engagement was broken off. A few weeks before the time. I don't know who that person is. Your engagement was broken off. But the Lord says to tell you. By this time in the month of November. You will receive the manifestation of his life partner for you. I don't know who that person is. But there is confirmation for that person. There is confirmation for that person. There is confirmation for that person. Confirmation. At the passion of the name of Jesus. Confirmation now. Confirmation. Receive confirmation. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual object in your stomach. Every spiritual object in your womb. That is causing sickness. That is causing delay in childbearing. At the count of three, I command that that object be vomited now. I command that you vomit it in the name of Jesus. One. Two. Begin to cough it and vomit it. Three. Out. Vomit it now. I say vomit it. Vomit it. Vomit it now. Begin to vomit it wherever you are. Vomit that thing from you now. Vomit it now. Vomit that spiritual ring. Vomit it from your body now. I say vomit it. I say vomit it by fire. I set your stomach on fire. I set your womb on fire. Vomit it. Vomit it. Vomit it. Out. 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 Every witchcraft spirit that you have swallowed, vomit it now. I say vomit it. I dagger it. I slaughter that witchcraft bed in your system now. I say vomit it spiritually. Vomit it now. I set fire in your system. Vomit it. Vomit it. Vomit it by fire. 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 Vomit it! Blessed be your name, O oh God. God of miracle, God of power and majesty, be thou glorified. Now put your two hands on your head. Almighty God, you are the glory and the lifter of our heads. Cover our heads with glory. Cover our heads with glory. From this day forward, may your children carry glory. May they carry anointing. 
No more evil load. No more evil burdens. No more evil yokes. Let their heads carry glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the count of three, I pray that the Spirit of God will flow through you now. The glory of God, the Shekinah of God, will be heavy on your head. One. Two. Three. Carry. Let your head be heavy with glory now. Let your head be heavy with Shekinah. There is Shekinah on your head. There is glory on your head. Kare! 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 Glory. Kare glory now. Blessed be your name, O God. Be thou glorified. Be thou exalted. May your name be honored in the life of your church and the life of your children. Father, surround us with the ministry of angels. That henceforth, wherever your children go, O God, let them be surrounded with glory. And let ministering angels keep them safe. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. If you believe it, shout seven loud, amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Come on, slap seven people. High five. Say you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. To say about me, unworthy as I am, Father, thank you very much. I'm proud of you as a brother. I'm very proud of you. And I thank God for your brother priests who assist you in the ministry. May God continue to uplift you in Jesus' name. I thank God for what he's doing in our province of Benin City. The ministers is risen in our province. I'm very proud of them. I pray that God will raise up many more in Jesus' name. I encourage all of you to keep holding on to faith. And they make another run from one place to another. As soon as they come here, so it's good. Because they come home. And tell your friends, bring your family members, come to a place where there is real Catholic presence and authentic Catholic teaching. And they hear so? Not the good do mix mix so. Don't go running from one place to another because there are many people who claiming to be men of God now. Some of them are ritualists. Some of them are ritualists. So please, be very careful. Not be every person you put your head down, make you touch. Now they hear so. Don't give your head to just anybody to touch you. Be sure that you test the spirit. Know the ones that are true. So I encourage you to hold on to your faith. Hold on to the church and hold on to your spiritual directors. I am confident they will lead you to Christ himself. Amen.
Catholic father not be like other men of God. We don't do anything for ourselves. Everything we do is for the church, the people of God. So encourage your priests. You can pray for us. Pray for us. We can not the gossip also. If you won't gossip any person, gossip Jesus. Go tell people, you don't hear what Jesus do. You hear what Jesus talk. And that one sweet pass. Be a pray for us. So that God will continue to find us useful in his hands. And the church of God will continue to grow. Amen. I pray that as many of you as have come, and all those who will come for this conference, that the Lord will richly bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, thank you, Father, for giving me this opportunity to share with you. If you need to hear more of my teachings, some very tall men, the day by the main door there, they get some of my messages for there. You can pick one or two. And they're not sweet like Una Fada own, but they're sweet. <laughs> Amen. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy, Savior, thou art worthy, thou alone art worthy to be praised, thou alone art worthy to be praised. Thou alone art worthy. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. Thou alone art worthy to be praised.
like you. She's never seen. I've never seen anyone like you. I've never seen any God like you. I've never.